Hi, I'm Shannon Register, and I'm coming to you from the RREA studio at Register Real Estate Advisors in Spring, Texas. Welcome to Whiteboard Monday. Today I'm going to be talking about foreclosures and short sales. I want you to know the difference between the two and how it impacts your credit. So I'm going to start here with the foreclosures. Um, when you have a foreclosure, you cannot get a um, Fannie Mae backed loan for about five years. It's going to impact your credit and your ability to get a Fannie Mae backed loan for about five years. On the loan application, when you actually go in to apply for your next loan, there's a question on there. Um, on the one, uh, 1003 application, it has a question about foreclosures. Have you ever been foreclosed on? And you will have to answer yes to that from now on. And it's going to drop your credit score between 250 and 300 points, sometimes more, sometimes less. But on average, between 250 and 300 points, and that's a big drop. You're going to have a really hard time getting a house or a car or anything else after that. The um, foreclosure can stay on your credit for up to 10 years. It becomes pu uh, public record and um, can affect you for 10 years, sometimes more, sometimes less, but this is the average. On the short sale, um, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit better. And the reason it's better um, is because, well, first of all, there's no question on your next loan application for a short sale. You don't have to disclose that you've ever done a short sale. Secondly, it's only two years before you can get another Fannie Mae backed loan. So you could rent for two years and then go purchase another uh, property, potentially. Of course, that depends on the rest of your credit history and other factors. But based on just doing the short sale, it's not going to impact you for more than two years on getting a Fannie Mae backed loan. On your credit, it's going to drop your score about 50 points. That is recoverable, um, much more so than a, um, than a foreclosure would be. And... It's only going to impact you for about 12 to 18 months. So like I said, you could go rent for a couple of years and then go back and purchase your next home. The short sale, um, the main thing to know about the short sale is it is not short. There's nothing short about it um, in the length of time it's going to take you to sell the home. It's actually going to take longer than if you just put the house on the market to sell it. And the reason is because the bank has to approve the process. They have to approve the buyer and the amount that the buyer is paying for the property. So it takes longer to do the short sale process, and um, the reason we call it a short sale is because the bank is getting shorted on funds. Um, they're actually taking less for the home than what the seller owes on the home. So that's why it's called a short sale. Again, I'm Shannon Register coming to you from the RREA studio here in Spring, Texas. <laughs>